<clears throat> What's going on guys? Um, I want to tell you about what I did here with replacing the sway bar end links. So you can see I replaced this sway bar end link right here. And then I also replaced the sway bar bushings, which are buried back in there. Right there where you see that bolt all the way back in there. Buried back in there inside the subframe cradle are the sway bar bushings and they are not easy to get to uh, especially on the driver side here um, on the right driver side it's really hard to get to because of the exhaust see the the muffler there um, that secondary muffler and then that exhaust pipe there it gets in the way of getting those um, you also need to make some extra space to get your hands in there and so to do that I actually dropped the subframe down. So see that bolt there? Yeah, so I, I loosened that bolt until I had about a half an inch between the uh, the chassis, between, between the actual frame of the vehicle uh, and the subframe. So I did that on all four. There's four of them. And here's the other one right here. So I loosened that one until I had about a half an inch of space here. And then I did the same thing here. I loosened this one right here until I had about a half of inch space. Um, I'm sorry, half an inch of space between here and the frame. So up here, between here and the frame. And once you get that space, it makes it a little bit better. It's still not the easiest thing in the world, but at least you can get um, you can get a ratchet in there with a short little 12 millimeter and you can get in there and take the the bolts off that hold the sway bar bushing bracket in place and then you can re replace the sway bar bushings. Uh, the reason I did this is because um, I had some squeaking in the rear suspension and then I also had clicking and so my guess is the clicking was from the the sway bar end links and then the squeaking noise was from the uh, sway bar bushings. So I ended up getting the Beck Arnley sway bar end links. So here's the box. I'll give you the link below on Amazon where you can get these. Uh, these are really great quality. Um, they were looked almost as good as the factory ones that I took off. And then for the sway bar bushings, I used a Moog. And these were super cheap. I think less than 10 bucks. And there's the part number for that. Um, this is on a 2006 Honda Pilot. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.